Okay, it's not SOG, but this is on my agenda today. I forgot to put it down. Y'all remember I was talking about some of my tops and eyes didn't have the uh, eyelets. And I prefer the eyelets instead of the bare. See, it's not even a closed up right there. The eyelets serve a great purpose too. So what they did, they used the uh, Chicago screws. And that's okay, it works. Because I, I, I have no complaints with my tops and eyes. I absolutely love my tops. This is the tops uh, smoke jumper. This is heavy duty chopper. And I'm going to, what it amounts to is I'm going to remove these screws right here. Put them in my little uh, drawer there for when I can use those. And I'm going to put eyelets all the way up and down here. Okay, here is one of my uh, all-time favorite tops and eyes I own. Uh, this is one of the first ones, and I just love reading the history on this, uh, where it all came about. This is the Topps Moccasin Ranger. Yep, I use that quite a bit, and both these have the rotating clip up high, which is good. I like it. Okay. Uh, could use a dangler, but that's okay. But this one too, I'm going to remove the screws and put the eyelets in there. And I have the black eyelets. I will show you a video. I'll show you it afterwards is what I'll do. Because all it amounts to is I'm taking these out, drilling the hole, the holes, wide enough to, uh, wide enough for my, out, my eyelet to go through. Okay, and that's all it is. Tap it down with a hammer. I got a little uh, eyelet tool. Let me show you what I use there. And that's what you use to tap it in. It has a little extra piece and I never use it. In fact, it's not even in this drawer. I don't need it. I just put it on the anvil of my uh, vise right there and just tap it down and it's good to go. So I'll show y'all and afterwards. So here they are. These are the last two of the tops. I checked all the rest. I either did them or they were done. So it's no big deal. Fantastic knives and these are two of my favorite tops. I know it's Sog Sunday, but it's also miscellaneous. I'll show you afterwards. Okay, that's it. Took a whole 10 minutes. Really, with the hammer, that tool I have. And what I decided to do, I left the screws that were in there because they are really secure. Tops did a good job. That secures the sheath. And there's no need taking it out. But now I have uh, eyelets instead of the uh, just the holes drilled. I have eyelets to do some serious tie down uh, with paracord or whatever I want to use for mounting. Okay. And doesn't that look better? And then here's the uh, Moccasin Ranger. So I left the screws because they, they were so, they're in there solid. They're really good. I mean, I could have taken them off, but then I got to take off the first one. I thought, what am I doing that for? Because that, that, is, that is secured and it's in place where they meant for it to be at the factory. I just added eyelets. See, it's a, it's a larger hole for a larger paracord, you know what I mean? So there we go. That was, the, I've been wanting to do that for uh, quite a while, haven't I? All week since I noticed it. So it's all done. And really they only had, there's only like a few, uh, these two and maybe two other ones that I did, remember? And it looked out, it looked great. So I left the screws on there, which made it a faster job. And by the way, I get all my eyelets, uh, my Chicago screws and everything, I get them on Amazon, and uh, let's see, Holster Smith, the holster maker source. Okay, Holster Smith eyelet, these are eyelets, uh, apparel binding, so forth. So this is like for leather, Kydex, and uh, these are the shorter ones. They come in different lengths, sizes, uh, widths. And great company. I believe that's a American, uh, yeah, American uh, small, 
small business. Okay? So that's where I get it. Y'all take care and sog out.